Итак, всем привет. Мы продолжаем проходить вампира. Вампира. Так, надеюсь, сейчас все будет нормально. Ни хрена не выкинет, никуда не выбросит. Ничего плохого не скажет нам вот в эту точку. Так, войти в сад за больницы. Это там просто оружие. Лучше не трогать. Так. А... Помните, мне я еще с медсестрой не болтал. Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. But I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Um, how are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. An invisible enemy? Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but... How do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. I don't know. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Is there anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Так, доктор Типец. У меня же о нем есть информация. Так, но они взаимосвязаны, да? Ну, касса, как все это будет. Блин. Даже не знаю. Нас Бранаган, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No, I may disagree with some conduct. But in the end, everybody is doing their best. Так, окей. Отлично. Why does Dr. Tippett's claim you're the main reason he keeps working, despite his fatigue? If it wasn't for him, I probably would have left the Pembroke years ago. Dr. Tippett's does not think of you as just a nurse anymore. Does he? If you're suggesting he's not taking my gender into consideration when it comes to medical practice and knowledge, I really hope he doesn't. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need...
Подожди, а что там было? Нажмите R, чтобы что? Good evening, doctor. Good evening, doctor. А, гипнотизер точно. Не, не, goodbye, не. nurse. Goodbye, Call me goodbye. if you need assistance. Да, 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 все. До свидания. Пина. Так, здесь полудохлые. Ты разговаривал с тобой, да? Good evening, Milton. Good evening, doctor. С ним все я поговорил. Goodbye, Milton. С тем тоже я разговаривал. С этим ну у него разговаривается. Сейчас посмотрим. You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think about preserving your strength. No, we must keep on healing all those poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. Once more, unto the breach. Nurse Brannigan is worried about you, Doctor. Huh. She should not have told you that. I will have a word with her. You don't have to blame her for her honesty. <laughs> I'm not that kind of man, my dear Jonathan. Actually, Nurse Brannigan's opinion is the only one I may listen to. You're exhausting yourself. No, we must keep... Nurse Brannigan, <laughs> you don't have to blame her for... <laughs> I'm not... Типа, ну, ну ладно. Я думаю, я правильно сделал, что... Может у них что-то более, большее, чем. Goodbye, Doctor Tippett. А? Чего, блин? Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good типа, evening, чё, чё происходит? Угу. Это мы уже делали. Goodbye, Nurse. Call me if you need игра assistance. тупит сегодня. Тупит как очень сильно. Город тебе, человек во время получивший медицинскую помощь, это удар в самой эпидемии, требуется волонтера. Понятно. Но нам не дает. Сейчас лицо сейчас появится. My blood and soul. They belong to you now. The life running in your veins. This dead flesh needs it. Oh, please spare me. Чего вы делаете, сэр? Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. War injuries, am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. How is your stay with us, Mr. Elwood? Oh, it's bliss. I just escaped death in the trenches to be surrounded again by the moans of the dying. Can I ask you precisely why you're a patient here? It's the pain, sir. The drugs don't work. It just hurts under the scars. If you get my drift. Mm. Can I do anything for your pain? Nurses gave me a bunch of pills. No effect. Told you. It's like the flames are under my skin, burning away. 
Who is treating you? Is someone in particular looking after your case? Nobody since the old and tired doctor spoke to me. Started to think I was forgotten about. Wouldn't blame you. You don't seem worried by that. My face hurts so much more when I smile or cry. I've learned it's easier not to speak. But be assured I'm smiling inside. Damn. Where were you stationed, sir? Did you serve for long? I really don't want to talk about all this shit. No offense. I was pushing too much. I served in France myself. I just wanted to know what happened to you. You were an officer, weren't you? Then I doubt we fought the same war, sir. No offense. No, that no. Goodbye Ой, for now, Ходи со своим гибалом, скуп. Таким вот. Так, ты чё? Ты кто? Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, doctor. Mm. How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out of everything. You must get a hold of yourself, nurse. <sighs> Sorry, I'm exhausted. No one has any idea when this epidemic will be over. Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish flu won't last forever. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? What if in the end, nobody was spared? Okay. How long have you been a nurse? Well, long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. You'd be surprised what dedication can achieve, Nurse Hawkins. In medicine, sometimes we're just a test result away from a miracle. <laughs> Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter, but I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. How is the Pembroke staff coping with the epidemic? Well, not well. Milton, the ambulance driver, is even more grumpy than usual. Especially concerning doctors. Why does Milton dislike doctors? I don't know. Just ask him. But be warned. Milton is not the chatty type. Why is Milton grumpy on a daily basis? Is it just an act? Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad reputation. Whether he deserved it or not. Так, что про Милтона? Без неважная репутация среди коллег. Хм. Его может сожрать, он оружием продает, торгует. Ну он торгует, зачем смысл мне его жрать? Так без пон, бессмысленно вообще. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. До свидания, сестра. Good evening, Mr. Hampton. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, sir, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion make me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps? But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. How did you end up in William Bishop's den? I had received alarming news about his recent behavior. I went to his place and he refused to let me go. Why did he abduct you? William was an alcoholic. His addiction suddenly changed to blood. I don't know why. Just like a patient I met here. This Miss Hawcroft. Hawcroft? 
You dared to enter this awful place alone. You're a hero, Mr. Hammer. Or a fool. I'm just a man trying to help his friends, Dr. Reed. William Bishop was a conflicted soul, searching for light. Так. Do you know Tom Watts, the bartender from the Turtle? I met him before I found you in the canning factory. Tom? Yes, of course. Always the helping hand, good old Tom. Without men like him, corruption and despair would have wiped out the East End long ago. People are still in despair. How could it be otherwise? The authorities have left us all to rot in this contagious nightmare. No drugs, no advice, nothing. It's a damn shame. Who should I avoid in this part of town, then? Any particularly evil figures? Not really. Most men and women are just doing their best. And it's not my habit to speak ill of people I know, Doctor. Mm -hmm, of what is the general situation in the East End docks? The situation has always been tough, with a lot of tensions between the gangs and the Dockers Trade Union. The wet boot boys are very nervous since they lost their leader. Who leads the gang now? Since Clay Cox went missing, it's his wife Edwina who runs the show, with the assistance of her minion, Booth Digby. Has the gang been threatening you? Ah, no. I've had this nickname for so long, you know, the sad saint of the East End. No one dares to bug a saint, not even criminals. What do you do for a living, Mr. Hampton? I can't help but notice the cross around your neck. I manage a night asylum for the poor and homeless of the docks. And I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. Are you a priest, Mr. Hampton? A deacon, maybe? Not at all, Doctor. I'm just a man of faith, willing to preach the good word. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you use your cross against William Bishop? To repel him somehow? That's a very strange question, Doctor. A cross is no magical token, if that's what you were trying to say. Not mine, anyway. How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond exhaustion, actually. William drank so much of my blood in his madness. I feel... empty. You're in good hands here. Dr. Swansea is well versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I believe all I need is rest, and then I can go back to the people who need me. Have you made friends since you arrived? Not really, but I recognize Miss Harriet Jones. I knew her when she lived by the docks. That poor woman had such a miserable life. You never came to see her here at Pembroke? Receiving visits when sick can be an important part of the healing process, you know. We're not just bodies. You're preaching to the converted now, Doctor. To be truly honest, I thought she was dead. She left the docks many months ago. Так, о нем нам пока ни хера не известно. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. Позже поговорим. It's locked. It's locked. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Bill and who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire.
Так, давай. And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard syndrome, Miss Howcroft? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I right, Miss Howcroft? It's only a cover to hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. Who are these enemies you mentioned? Can you describe them? I cannot say for sure. But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. I, I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. Sadu. Sadu, tam the staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me. For I am a vampire. I see. Don't worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. Так, расследование, доступно новое расследование. Откройте меню расследования. Расследование, расследование, которое вам доверяют горожане, сортированные по районам. Чтобы приступить к заданию, выберите его, нажмите после этого. Кажется, образится в области, которую нужно исследовать. Что мне надо тут расследовать? Здесь только сад. Кто за тень? Так. Ценка. Они же теперь не может выбраться в нищее тело, не знаю на то, что эта женщина очевидная проблема с психикой. Она утверждает. А может это и есть все одна и та же цель? Да. Она, честно, заебала уже третий раз выкидывать. Я не знаю, что происходит. До этого играл, все было нормально. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? Mm -hmm. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Да вот опять. Опять какая-то загрузка непонятная. Блин, чё с игрой? О, блядь, пиздец какой-то. Ч 
Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. There. Why do you have such a mediocre reputation among your colleagues, Milton? Fuck them. Nobody knows the horrors I've seen since working here. This city was sick long before the epidemic, Dr. Reed. I know it's a difficult task, but correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not the job you are paid to do? I've seen babies left to die while their brothers were properly fed. Underage girls and boys sold to all manner of perverts. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Yeah, exactly. We lack words. So excuse me if I don't look on the bright side of life. Ну он просто, блин, ну, видит, как и многие люди, мир в черном. То есть, ну это, блядь, нормально. Думает так, как он думает, ну, потому что это реально. Все эти вещи происходят, как может хотите радоваться. Goodbye, Milton. Так. Здесь у нас что? Здесь у нас мы не увидим ни хрена. Так, ну ладно, это э, сюда вверх надо будет. Если еще же здоровье. Плю я с чихая кашля и вас постоянно инфлюенцу. Болезнь распространяется а, с капельками, вылетающими из носа и горла. Не кажется в общественных местах. Но это, блин, это вот естественно понятно. Тем более в данные там моменты. Требуется медсестры. Их жизнь зависит от тебя. Требуется медсестры. Обращайтесь в ближайшее представительство Министерства труда или пишите по адресу Лондон Кинг Кингуэйс 15. Окей, хорошо. Напишем. Так, 20 метрах, да? В сад. Сейчас ходим в сад. <свист> Блин, какие большие тут улицы вообще. Это основное задание. Scour voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. Черт, черт, черт. Да блять, скали ебаные. Пьем, пьем, пьем. Я за кровь пополняю жизни. Все, да меня допетрило, как жизнь пополнять. <coughs> То есть в бою я пополняю кровь. <coughs> Эй, скаль, блядь. 
Ах ты, мразь. Давай. Так, а мне в это здание, да, судя по всему? А, после них ничего там не осталось? Нет? Соли все после. Тридцать пять. Да я уже отошел. Найдите в саду потерянный бумажник. Чего? А, боже. Фотографии улыбающиеся парочки. Наоборот, несколько слов. Милтон и Пипа. Навсегда. So, Mr. Hooks and Nurse Hawkins are an item. Those two have hidden their affections well. Серьезно? Ну-ка, ладно, я здесь еще посмотрю. It's locked. Карантин. Не захотеть, понятно здесь что. Карантин в связи с эпидемией. Понятно. Сейчас побегаем, просто исследуем, что здесь есть вообще. По помойкам пошаримся. У нас еще есть кого поубивать. Хотя бы опыта подзаработаем. дальше да блок там нет надо пока больницы разобраться it's locked all right Интересно. Ладно. Ух ты, развалил. Ладно, пойдем отнесем бумажник. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reid. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Oh, 
Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Нет, блять. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your wallet. With all the money and a certain picture. Well, yeah, Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody is as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. Так. Хокин встречается. What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. During the war, I witnessed a few couples just like you come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other, and that's all that matters. You do realize you could both get fired. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. Goodbye, Milton. не завершено вот а, второе задание что тут выяснить да то тоже блять за этой дурой следит можно цель так и того нам на улицу Сейчас давай еще здесь пробежим What can I do for you, Doctor? А мы уже с тобой разговаривали. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Да, да, да. Спасибо, до свидания. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I believe we're going to be colleagues. Reed? Yes, I've been informed about your arrival. I'm Waverly Aykroyd. <laughs> Welcome aboard, I suppose. Does my arrival inconvenience you in some way, Dr. Ackroyd? Let us just say that I don't particularly share Dr. Swanson's enthusiasm for hiring you. What we need here are reliable professionals, not overrated dabblers. If you have a problem with me, Dr. Ackroyd, please feel free to tell me. Dr. Swansea has imposed your presence on this hospital without asking anyone's advice. The benefit of his position. But I don't agree with it. I know we've never met before, but I believe this hospital could use all the help it can get. You will agree with that, I'm sure. Oh, but I have heard about you, Dr. Reed. Of course you can't say the same about me, since I have not wasted my time courting the press. Aren't you too old for such jealousy? It really won't do you any good, you know. Don't be ridiculous, Dr. Reed. A simple glance is enough for me to know you have nothing for me to envy. Since your tenure in this hospital is longer than mine, perhaps you can tell me more about this place. Let's just say I'm tired of the carelessness around me. I have always respected the skills of Dr. Swansea, but over time, his enthusiasm has become displaced. Carelessness? 
Exactly what are you talking about? We're here to save lives. The people who trust us are not volunteering for experimentation. They're here to be healed. I don't intend to run any radical experiments, Doctor. Even if I, as any good practitioner should, express an interest in pushing the boundaries of medical research. Modern medical methods were created through audacity and ego. But there are rules in our line of work, and they're here to protect our patients. Не хочется тебе дать по морде вообще. Не добряет своих методов медицины. Ну ладно. Не одобряет и срать на него. It seems you have bad memories of your military service. I refuse to see this industrial slaughter as scientific progress. War only reveals the worst in men. We can at least agree on something, Dr. Ackroyd. I don't know what you've heard about me, but I have already proved my value as a practitioner. I don't question your skills, Dr. Reed, but your motive. Is it money, fame, or are you truly dedicated? And what exactly is that supposed to mean? I served in the war just like you. But unlike you, I did not use the wounded to play the modern sorcerer. Be careful what you insinuate, Dr. Ackroyd. I only want you to admit you used those men to improve your theories. Um. правда, я не считаю нужным оправдываться вообще. Блять, чувак по войны. А ладно, хотя скажу, я спас много жизней, ведь мы же типа доктор, да не... Да и нам показали, что... This is ridiculous. My blood transfusion technique saved many lives, and you know it. You see? That is exactly what I hate about people like you. You avoid this kind of accusation instead of facing reality. Где нахуй, случайно? Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Дебил конченый. Сколько здесь у вас, блядь, полудурков? Мне со всеми общаться надо. Господи. Good evening, madam. Can I help you? It's my son who needs you, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. How can I help your son? I'm Beatrice Goswick, mother of Mortimer Goswick. Could you check on him, please, Dr. Reed? I've heard much of your talents as a physician. Talent. <sighs> What can you tell me about yourself, Mrs. Goswick? Not much to say. Just take care of my Mortimer and I'll cover all the expenses. That's all that matters. Да там книжки хотел почитать. Вот купить эту игру и и чтиво вам беспечно. Are you really that rich? Most of the patients here are of a more humble origin, if I may say so. Yes. Thanks to my husband. May he rest in peace. I can cover any needed medical expenses. May I ask if you have an occupation, Mrs. Goswick? I'm a teacher by profession. I teach young women who are more ambitious about their futures than their families. <laughs> what do you think of your reception here? Any complaints? I have had the uttermost reservations about this hospital since we arrived. But we had no other choice, considering the state of emergency. Is there something in particular that's bothering you? Some of the staff were not especially welcoming. I suspect they're not accustomed to dealing with patients of such social standing. Tell me more about your arrival at the Pembroke Hospital. What gave you such a bad first impression? The ambulance driver was quite rude, for a start. And that nurse, Miss Hawkins, seems to have quite a dubious attitude. What do you mean? She managed to secure a bed for my son despite the epidemic. It was a relief, but it wasn't cheap. Чего? Чего они там мутят? Эти двое. Прибегает к за тех, кто готов заплатить. 
Ах, вы, блядь. She charged you for a bed? Yes, and I paid without question, considering the urgency of the situation. Так. I share your concern, Mrs. Goswick. Be sure that I'll talk to the people involved. I don't expect compensation, Dr. Reed. But I'm aware such behavior would not be tolerated in other hospitals. Конечно. Вот, блядь. Охуеть. Тут пока медицина еще бесплатная. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. I'm sure you realize a doctor and his patient have to communicate, sir. Would it help if I gave you some paper and a pen? Not really. I see. Then maybe it's not just your throat that hurts, Mr. Goswick. Perhaps your sore throat is just the consequence of something more hurtful. Yes, maybe. But I don't want to talk or even write about it now. Hmm. How painful is so pain? I'll let you get some rest then. Good evening, Mr. Gosp. I'm okay. Thank. Why did your mother have you hospitalized here? She seems convinced this is a bad hospital. My mother just wants the best for me. She won't rest while I'm here. She'd go all the way to hell and back to help me. Pembroke Hospital may look unorthodox, but rest assured, you're in good hands here. It's not me you have to convince, Dr. Reed. It's my mother. Is your mother bothering you? As your doctor, I can ask her to leave you alone if you would prefer. That's tempting, doctor. But you have no idea what my mother is capable of. She would tie herself to my bed if you asked her to leave. Yeah. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Goswick. I don't want to talk, doctor. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Good evening, sir. Doctor. Good evening, doctor. How is my son doing? Goodbye. I'm all right. Don't waste your time with me. Good evening, Doctor. I believe we're going to be working together. Dr. Reed. Dr. Swansea informed us of your arrival, but I could not dare to believe we'd have such good fortune. Such an honor, sir. <laughs> Thank you. And you are? I am Thoreau Strickland. Dr. Thoreau Strickland. I'm a great admirer of your work, Dr. Reed. Please, could you tell me something about yourself? I'm a great admirer of your work concerning blood transfusion, Dr. Reed. I run my own experiments. I'm convinced it's the future. Dog. What made you choose to be a doctor? I'm not ashamed to admit you and your work have inspired me. I am honored to have the opportunity to work by your side. It's always a pleasure to share scientific and medical knowledge with someone eager to learn. I'll be glad to help you if I can. This epidemic may be the century's most terrible disaster, but I'm convinced that we, as doctors, are the only ones able to defeat it. 
I based my technique on my mentor's research. He helped me perfect my method. What is yours? I'd rather not talk about it. For now, it's just theories and first approach. My process is purely experimental and unsuccessful. As long as you're cautious and methodical, you may remain empty-handed, but you won't fail. You're not the first one to warn me, but I am convinced knowledge is the main weapon against the ravages of this epidemic. What can you tell me about the Pembroke? Well, it has always been an honor to work with Dr. Swansea, but with your arrival, I can't think of a better opportunity to learn about blood transfusion. Do you need help with anything in particular? Well, yes, maybe. I'm waiting for a batch of products I ordered for my personal research, yet my supplier seems to have vanished. Do you want me to play the errand boy for you? Oh no, Dr. Reed. But if you went personally to his shop, what with your reputation and all, he wouldn't dare to refuse the products I need. I see. Well, give me the address, for I may pass by if I have time. You seem quite optimistic. It's a rare and precious attitude in these difficult times. I'm convinced that this epidemic is a test. A test of endurance and dedication for us men of science. Questions remain about our capacity to resolve the situation. True, true. Last summer, during the first wave of the epidemic, I used to joke with Milton about the extra work. We're not smiling now. What do you think of Dr. Ackroyd's aversion to modern medical methods? It's a shame he's so narrow-minded. Dr. Swansea taught me that science is about exploring uncharted territory. I'm convinced that's true. With the influenza and all that's going on, you should put your differences aside, don't you think? Why is it so difficult to work together? I believe that if Dr. Ackroyd had been the one to discover the transfusion process, he would be the first to recommend its use. So you believe it's just a question of jealousy and pride? Dr. Ackroyd is as proud as he is blinded by his obsolete concept of medical science. Tell me more about your willingness to experiment with new medical techniques. Harvey Fiddick is a patient suffering from a severe injury that could cripple him if not treated correctly. I'm convinced your blood transfusion technique could help him. What is it you really want? To save him or to prove your point? Fair question. I want nothing but to save my patient, Dr. Reed. Especially since I know Mr. Fiddick's story. Damn. Tell me Mr. Fiddick's story. Our first diagnosis was compromised because Mr. Fiddick lied to us about the real origin of his injury. He first claimed it was an accident. But why would he hide such crucial information from us? Because he is a proud father, ashamed of putting his children at risk because of his own negligence. Mm -hmm. Harvey Fiddick. This personal involvement could also appear to be a lack of impartiality. You must know that a good surgeon must remain neutral. I agree. But that does not excuse Dr. Ackroyd's behavior. A man who did not even take time to converse with his patient. Do you think keeping his distance was a mistake? All I know is that I'm taking care of human beings with desires, hopes and fears. Not some biological machine comprised of blood, bones and flesh. Dark. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. I want to head up at the same time. I will not let you down, my boy. Письмо. Это долго. Так, что, успеваю еще? Да, успеваю с ним поговорить и все, и на этом просто заканчивать. I'm Dr. Reed. May I help you? 
I don't know if a third opinion is needed. Your colleagues are already arguing about my condition. I see. Would you mind telling me more about your situation? I'm Harvey Fiddick. All I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. Uh, Tell me about yourself, Mr. Fiddick. I'm just a regular guy waiting to get his arm fixed, so I can return to work and to my family. I was more curious about what you were doing before being hospitalized. I'm a carpenter, and a good one too. But that means I need both arms to feed my family, Dr. Reed. Are you satisfied with your treatment here? Well, it's clear that I've chosen a bad time to be injured. Forgive my bluntness, but you seem overwhelmed by cases of the flu. I won't lie to you about it. I'm afraid we are. Are you sure you don't want to operate yourself, Dr. Reed? I have the feeling you're very capable, and your colleagues seem to think so too. In other circumstances, you would be right. But for now, I don't think I can take on the responsibility. My apologies. Tell me about the doctors who are arguing about your case. Strickland and Aykroyd. They both want the best for me, but there's a lot of pride there. Doctors are no different from carpenters, it seems. What do you mean? I often had professional arguments with rivals on a building site. Difference is I disagreed about wooden nails, not flesh and bones. Tell me about your injury, Harvey. Why do you feel so guilty about it? My wife died because of me. And now I may lose everything because I've been careless enough to hurt myself. What an arsehole. How could your job be responsible for your wife's death? I was working a double. She went out to bring me a hot meal and got caught in a German bomb raid. You can't hold yourself responsible for your injury, Mr. Fiddick, unless you tried to hurt yourself. Of course I didn't hurt myself, but I can't work until my arm is fixed. My children need to eat, Doctor. Tell me more about the death of your wife, Harvey. 1915. I was in the army, building workshops for the Royal Flying Corps. Helen was happy I wasn't sent to the front. What happened? The Germans sent Zeppelins to bomb the construction site, but they missed their target. My wife was bringing my dinner when the bombs fell. How are your children after losing their mother? They were smaller then. The only good thing about this is my Ellen didn't bring them with her that night. No, da, blядь, чертовски повезло. I'm sorry for your loss. So many died during the bombings. I served in France and witnessed the carnage there. I would like to say that she didn't suffer. Truth is, I have no idea. I just know that I'm all that my kids have. Poor little bleeders. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. Ah, время, время уже. This chance. Слава богу, ничего улицы, да? Так, а слежка. Ага. Где-то здесь кто-то за ней следит, да? Да, все верно, в этом районе. Thelma Howcroft said she was being watched by vampire hunters. Where are they hiding? I should investigate. I'm so sorry you ended up on my plane. 
plane and cold medical bench, sir. I understand you must be very angry about this unfair situation. I managed to arrange it's locked. To to the same man. I hope that might help. I cannot enter. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague? Are you a doctor, too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Chadana. Now, I'm just Mr. Chadana, pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean, you used to be a doctor? Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. Yeah. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. Так, я пока не знаю, он тоже торговец. Вести кто шпионит. Ладно, думаю, здесь оно сохранится. Поэтому на этом все. Давай, счастливо. Всего тебе доброго.